okay some slight <laughs> disheveledness it's not like my usual look but and i've been like sneezing all morning so it's like i need to like cover this whole place up but look at this look at this makeup or this no makeup makeup if you saw me in person i know cameras do things lighting does things if you saw me in person you would not see any makeup like complexion makeup i have no powder on um, I know this is like a weird angle and this is a lot of face for you, but I just want you to see how real this looks, like in love. Um, this is not some kind of like, you should do your makeup like this. This is where I, I was just like playing with new stuff and it's just so pretty. And I've been like oddly like sneezing and runny nose all morning. So we have like, have to keep this chest, chestal neck area covered, but mm, let me share the products with you. Okay, so the Chanel Le Beige Fresh Water Tint. I have medium, light, and medium. Um, I put medium on today. I do think it's just slightly a pinch dark for me. I think I'm just gonna keep both though and use medium light until like I get a tan and I'll use medium. But it looks insane, guys. Like every review I've seen of this, I just keep thinking when they apply it, it just looks like they have the most beautiful skin Obviously, there's not very much coverage. For me, it's fine. I don't if you're if I'm having like a no blemish day, I can wear this and I just think it looks so perfect. This is not for everyone. I just need to like put that out there like but if you have the right skin for this, oh my god, you look like there is there's nothing on your face. And then I use the Bare Pro Faux Tan, not Bare Pro, Bare Minerals, Bare Pro Glow in Faux Tan to sculpt the face. And then this is the Kevin O'Quan Glass Glow Face. This is in like the um, kind of like more iridescent one. It's in a pump. I just use that on like the high points of the cheek. This is the Essence Instacare. This is what I have on the lips. It is so good. And then for the brows, I have the J-Cat Eyebrow Pencils. These are amazing. The price is like, I don't know, is it? It's like $5.99, $6.99, or $7.99. I use it, I'll, like, I'll obviously link everything below, but I love this. I've been using this for about a year now, and I haven't felt the need to buy anything else. And I have tried every single drugstore one, I'm telling you, because when you have like lack of brows, you will go and find anything you can. The other thing I love, I wish Urban Decay would sell this brow blade with just the ink side. So you have this like, you can draw on your brows with this brush. It is so good. I think I use the shade Dark Drapes. Yes. This will draw in hairs in your brows. You have to have a light hand. I feel like anyone who does not have a light hand should not use these products because you're not going to get the look you want. But, oh my god. So, so good. Okay, I would like just to say, I would like just to say, it's 2 p.m. I have been filming for like four or five hours and I swear to you I've done like four videos like that's it like I did declutters for foundation powders and then I did drugstore lipsticks and regular lipsticks and my whole day is gone I totally remember why <laughs> filming video vi filming oh, I can't even talk like I guys I lost my voice at a certain point in time I totally remember why beauty videos were such like a thing like it was so it felt very like like labor intensive yeah i oh, anyway i am starving i don't even realize what time it was so i need to eat aldi's haul doubled egg potato salad and mustard potato salad i don't know i haven't had either of these before they could be i don't know they could be anything we have yogurt strawberry blended i've never had this before either the icelandic style yogurt like what is the difference and then blueberry we have a Greek low fat with like the little key lamb pie crunchies. Two dozen eggs. Two bags of frozen strawberries. The a bag of these yogurt pretzels. Four cheese calzone. Two bags of spinach. These plantain chips. Both are delicious. This one, 2% daily sodium. This one, 4%. So super, super low. Whenever I look for snacks, I look for like 5% sodium. 6% is like borderline, but like I generally try to go under. And 2% here, 4% here, excellent. And then lastly, we have three things of almond milk. Good morning. I wanted to do, ooh, not do that, okay. I wanted to do a check-in with you guys. Um, Game of Thrones. We watched it. Um, 
my Hulu wasn't working. I was very upset. For whatever reason, that whole day, my Hulu was having issues connecting because I had added HBO to my Hulu, like, I don't know, months ago. And so I ended up watching it on my phone. I have like a, an attachment that I have hooked uh, to my bed. So I don't have to like hold my phone if I'm like scrolling or whatever before bed. And I loved it. It was amazing. For anyone complaining that it was too dark, I, it was a night war. It would be dark, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, but I was like, it was gripping, like literally gripping. Like I was in bed, so I was like holding my like sheets so tightly and if i wasn't holding my sheets i had like a t-shirt on i was like gripping my t-shirt it was like completely stretched out by the time the whole like episode was over like yes okay i have this new organizer here that i want to share with you Ooh, oh, i thought it almost marked up my wall okay so it's like super well packaged i think there's some assembly required so there's like three pieces here And then the main piece in here. Okay, after four hours, okay, not four hours, but like, you know, it was all very like packaged tightly. So we have one, two, three, and then four pieces here, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine pieces, there's instructions. So we're gonna assemble right now. Okay, so it's super easy to assemble. The base piece goes on and then you slot the two in. Now the only thing that's kind of like what I wasn't expecting, so if you put in like a piece here as like a divider, you can't put like a divider in the same spot for the next like turn. So you have to go kind of like one up and then up another one, up another one until like, so you get four of them, right? And then you just pop the top piece on. Okay, so then you take the main piece and then kind of put this turnstile into it. Okay, so it sits in here really nicely. I mean, if you're in the market for something like this, this is actually kind of really cool. Okay, so it also comes with these little plastic rings that you can place anywhere there is like a connector piece that way like the whole thing is stable for demo purposes i'm not gonna do that i kind of want to style it for you guys to see style it i am just show you different ways that i would organize this okay so first off nail station i am not like i do my own nails maybe a couple times a month now it used to be every week i used to be like so good about it but if you want, if you are someone who's into nails, you literally could put everything here. For me, let me just run through very quickly. I have acetone, I just use that. I mean, it's the fastest thing for me. I have some nail files, nail clippers, these kind of um, like a hangnail slicer shaver, <laughs> some cotton pads, um, and then I have like a concealer brush here. It's just what I use to kind of clean off the edges. So after I put a pile of nail polish, I mean, I try to do it as carefully as possible, but um, I'll just dip this in acetone and clean out the edges like around the cuticles. And then here, obviously you can like literally sort by color. Here I have all my nudes. Um, down here, there's some purples, love purples. Okay, this is something I get from CVS. I try to find these things in store, but I see them at Walmart and at CVS in store like you just dip your finger in like if I have like a more like gritty polish or a glitter polish You can just like, you know dunk your finger in and just swirl it around and I do I get the 100% acetone kind These are what would, what would I call these like toppers? They're kind of what I use if I want something a little more reflective or if I try to do like a smooth nail polish And I didn't do a very good job. I'll just use these to kind of hide the imperfections we have like metallics here. This is just like kind of a, what do you call this? I have a clear polish, a like nail cleanser thing, some like other top coats, more cotton pads. Okay, as for makeup like ideas, obviously you can style this however you want. I don't know why I keep, Okay, obviously for makeup, you can do however you do. <laughs> okay, so for makeup, obviously you can do it however you want. Um, and obviously, like I showed you guys before, these all change. Like you can de determine how high or low you want everything to be. So I figured I would just share with you some things I'm really loving, which is always fun. 
Okay, so first off, this is the Makeup Revolution Foil Frenzy. I'm trying not to get myself in here so I can show you this palette. Um, they're all foil shades. They're amazing. I will try and find swatches online because that's initially why I bought it too. I'm like, this is gorgeous. It's uh, a little more expensive than their regular palettes. They're $10, but I mean, Ulta is forever doing BOGO 50% off. So recommend if you are looking for like something for summer that's like shimmery and beautiful, like you just want all lid shades. Okay, so this is the Becca collab with Chloe and Malika. Uh, I picked up the Chloe one and I really love it. I got it with my $125 kind of redemption at Ulta, so this was free for me, but I mean, highly recommend. Love it so much. I was kind of looking at all the palettes that were releasing, like the Charlotte Tilbury, would looks like it would be so up my valley. Valley? Alley? <laughs> But after seeing swatches and like just the tones, they just don't really work for me. And then some of them just seem like too shimmery. This one is like really beautiful and perfect looking and it's smooth. They apply beautiful. And even though I'm not a blush person, this I've used on the lid. So I mean, everything else just kind of works for me. And this is so light that I would totally wear it as a blush. I'm just not huge on blush. I just feel like it's so much more product on your face. And by the time you have like foundation and maybe concealer in certain areas and powder and bronzer like i will always choose bronzer over blush so personal preference okay so then we have two fenty bronzers i have the two lightest shades uh two of the not two the charlotte tilbury contour wand and highlight wand so good i like obsess over this i already have a backup this is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Sunset. This is my probably most preferred shade. It's so gorgeous and it smells amazing. This is a Chanel highlighter that is, I think, released this year and it's gorgeous. I saw one of my favorite Asian makeup artists use it. It was either Patrick Ta or Hong and it looked so good on the model, or not the model, I think they were, it was like a, an award show, but it's gorgeous it doesn't really give color it just gives glow which is so important and on top of the i mean beautiful packaging the formula is great i had purchased one of their like cream blushes before and i don't know i didn't like that but this i love like one of those any skin tone can wear type shades so up on this turnstile i have a whole bunch of favorites to share so let's try and get through this quickly Okay, these Physician Formulas highlighters. It took me a while to try these out uh, because I don't know, I was seeing swatches and I'm like, I don't know if those are colors I like. The formula on these is so smooth, but they are glittery. So if you don't like glitter, don't go for these, but they're like a very, very smooth glitter. So super love, I have these two shades. This one's champagne and this one is pearl. We have the mini nudes from Natasha Denona, love. This is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Primer. I thought I would not like, or I actually had no opinions. I wasn't really sure what this does, but I use this as an uh, as an eye primer, like fully under the eyes and then on the lid, and it's so good. I feel like I could go through this product quickly. I can, you can see, like I've already hit pan, but it's just so good. I feel like even if you don't wear makeup, you can enjoy this as just something that like makes your eyes look more refreshed, like smoothed out and like slightly blurred. Tatcha Lip Balm, have hit pan on this, love. You don't need it, but I really like it. Okay, so this is a newer purchase. I can't, is it Kaya or Kaja? Um, this is Orange Blossom, it's just three shimmery shades. Down here, there are two new palettes released from Flower Beauty this year. Uh, this one's called Sugar Rush, and it is, I am so impressed by Flower Beauty in general, but this palette, I don't, ooh, it's kind of powdery, but they blend out and the pigment is like so good. There's also two shimmers in here that are like two shimmer glitters, I would call them. They are phenomenally beautiful. I think these are also on sale at Ulta right now for like $11.89 or $11.69, so very good price. Um, bronzers I'm loving. This is the Bare Minerals Faux Tan, the Makeup Forever in 15i, and this is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Powder, but I got it in the darkest shade because it described it as like a golden cocoa bronze or something. So beautiful. Obsessed. I have it on the eyes, on the face today. Like, I just use this like everywhere. 
this is the Bare Minerals Faux Tan that I shared with you earlier. Okay, moving down, we have Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. These are kind of like foundation mix-ins. The Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy, and then back there we have the Patrick Ta like aerosol highlight. Oh, not even, I bought the other two. Like I have, I can't, I think this is like the pink one that doesn't really look that pink. So I picked up the other two. Like I'm just obsessed with the idea of this, the way it looks, so good. Okay, dropping down primers I'm loving. Smashbox Primerizer, Derma Blend Gripping Primer, and the Flower Beauty. This is so hydrating. This is also so hydrating. And this is really great. Um, I was using it all over the face for a while and I liked it, but I find the best place for it is the T-zone, which is where most of our makeup comes off. And if you wear sunglasses, I find that it really helps with kind of keeping your foundation on your face versus on your sunglasses. Complexion products, Bye Bye Foundation, love SPF 50. This is the Chanel I showed earlier, the Oxygenetics Foundation, love this. This is newer um, with like a 20% off at like um, Ulta. I picked the face tape, such a good foundation, like a really great all around foundation. Coverage is like medium to full. Some sprays, the Biosense is great for before makeup. I have been obsessed with the Beauty Blender. I apply this after makeup and it's so good. And then of course, the Catrice Prime and Fine. Everyone knows this is just, oh, makes your skin look so amazing. This is a item piece that was sent to me. It was sent to me under the premise that if I liked it, I could talk about it. Obviously, I think it's great. Um, it's also just like I mentioned before, it's like a different kind of setup. Um, I feel like usually you can buy just this or you can find like a tray organizer, but this kind of combines the two. Uh, and I like it. They offered me a 20% code for you guys and I'm like, well, of course. And I was pretty impressed because I feel like on Amazon their typical coupon is like 10%. So 20% is great. I believe it runs for about $32. I'm not positive. I've noticed that the price has changed. Like not too much, but that's around the price range. So I'll have it linked below and you can check it out and get one for yourself. Okay, so last week was it? I showed you guys two beauty boxes from Derm Store that were skincare focused, and those were 25 each. These, this, this one is 50 bucks, but you get, I feel like this is like amazing. So you get the Lancer oil again, which I don't mind having because I was using it that week and I really like it. It has the combination of oils works out really well. Often when you buy just a singular oil, you have to see like, okay, which kind? Is it a carrier? Is this gonna work the right way? Do I have to layer? And then the way the combination works in the Lancer, I think it's like you can like use this alone because the combination is already there. Uh, you get an Elta MD. This is a full size of their sunscreen. Okay, then you get this IS Clinical Cleansing Complex. I have no idea. I've never heard of this brand, but it sounds fancy and I'm excited to try it. You get the Dermalogica Daily Super Foliant. This is like a very decent size. You get three of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel, which I already bought an 88 pack, I believe. No, $88. A 35 pack in the Sephora VIB sale. So there's three in here, so that's super exciting. This is the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. Uh, I love SkinCeuticals and I love things that have the CE Ferulic. Dr. Dennis Gross does them too, so and enjoy. I was gonna say enjoy happy. What does that even mean? So Asian. Okay, another deluxe size of the Skinmedica TNSI. I just finished my one that I have that is this size and I really like it. Lastly is this PCA Skin Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. So my friend had got me two items from PCA Skin, the Hydrolux, I believe, the cream, and then the one of the eye gels. Um, and I love them both. I never thought I could love an eye gel, but that's like a very, it's like totally different from what I expected. So I'm really excited to try out this serum from them. So this whole thing was like $49.95, I think, and it was, free shipping, crazy deal, awesome, amazing. Um, if it's still available, I'm sure it is, I'll link it below. I think this would be another great kind of like Mother's Day uh, option if your mom's really into skincare. And I quite like the case. You know how like sometimes you get free uh, whatever, it comes with like a cosmetic case or a holder and you're like, oh, it's okay. But this one's actually nice because it, like, it's sturdy, like it has like structure and then it's like a zip, so excited 
Okay, so we're gonna close out this vlog. I have a few things I wanna share with you. First thing, the declutter playlist will be linked below. I have decluttered all, all foundations, all foundations, all powders, and drugstore lipsticks, or like lipsticks under $10. And for tomorrow, Sunday, if I don't put up a declutter video, then I will put up a Sephora VIB sale haul. Um, like I mentioned, I hope that if I have enough items, I'll do a haul, otherwise we'll get a declutter. And what was the other thing? There's something like good. Oh, okay. If you are not already part of Ebates, I feel like I am considered like an early adopter. Um, I've been using Ebates for like, I don't even know, 2010, the year it started, that's when I like started using it. And this is like not any kind of paid promotion or whatever, like I wish. I wish Ebates would work with me. But, so on Monday, May 6th, is their 20 year anniversary and there's gonna be like 20% cash back on like tons of websites. I'm really excited, I'm hoping, can you imagine if they do 20% off or 20% cash back at Sephora while the VIB sales. So, oh, can you imagine? Anyway, I just want to share that with you. Like, sign up or just you know make sure you do you do the thing so you can get the 20% cash back on whatever it is. It probably won't be on stuff like travel because it never really is. But I mean, if you're looking for some items, last minute like Mother's Day stuff. What else would it be good for? I don't know. I'm just, I'm like really excited for it. Also, if you are not, what's another thing? I just put in an order at Farfetch. If you are not signed up to that website, you should be if you like luxury goods. There's a VIP sale going on right now. The price, I picked up three items. I'll share them with you maybe next week if I get them. But the price I got on them was phenomenal. So Farfetch for sure, and what else? Oh. The, I wanted to show you like a close-up of the like Marc Jacobs Accomplice Powder. I use it as like bronzer and it's in my crease. It's like slight contour. Like I went in, like I love this. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up the like face version, like the setting powder, finishing powder shades, but I am obsessed with this um, as a bronzer. Okay, I feel like all those things were like out of order. Like there could have been like a smoother way to present all that. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow. I know, every day May.